Hi guys, it's Zoe and today I was just going to make a little video of me drawing and kind of keep that simple sort of thing and I wanted to show me drawing in a program called Manga Studio and it's a fan art as you might or may not be able to tell of Beast Boy and Raven from Teen Titans. If you didn't already know this, I am kind of obsessed with Teen Titans and I am incredibly obsessed with the show itself but also Beast Boy and Raven as a pairing. And now I have just proven myself um, worthy of the name Adorkable ASMR. So part of the reason why I was going to be making this video was because I was very worried for a while that I would lose subscribers or lose interest because I was not producing any work and it turns out that I don't think I lost too many people, but I definitely feel bad that I didn't produce a lot of content like I thought I was going to be able to when I was at home for the summer. Um, a lot of that was because I went through a really difficult time with my mental health, and I don't really want to go into that too much, but I found it really difficult overall as a summer, and that made it difficult for me to produce content for you guys. So I'm going to start drawing. I'm going to move a little bit away from the microphone. I hope you guys don't mind. Now something you guys should know is that I have um, a tremor in my hand due to a medication that I'm taking. I don't actually know which medication it is that is causing this tremor, um, but I know that it's definitely medication induced and also anxiety induced. So uh, the reason I'm telling you guys this is because it's very hard for me to draw um, due to this tremor and I lost a lot of confidence when I had this tremor start up because I felt really bad about the fact that it takes me longer to take um, drawings that I've made and do line art and I can't control my hand the way I used to but I have sort of accepted that it's not going to be the same and I love drawing and I don't want to stop so it might um, it might be some confusion as like why is she going so slowly or why is she redoing that again and again partially it's because of that tremor um, I just want to make sure my drawing looks good and it's hard for me to get it to look the way I want because of this tremor another thing you might notice is that it might look good but I will just not be satisfied with it and that is in part because I'm a perfectionist and in part because I get very um, anxious when I draw because I want it to look right. That stems from um, OCD, which is something that I struggle with. And I, I have a lot of things, as you can see, that make it difficult for me to draw, but I don't want that to hold me back. I think that's something really important to think about, is holding you back. From. Like, is, is, are the things that you love, are you, what are you willing to risk? Are you willing to give up to be safe? And what are you, like, it's just hard because, you know, they always say, like, what would you rather have, would you rather be able to do this or do this, and for me a lot of it is, would you rather be mentally more stable 
but not be able to do a lot of the things you love as well as you used to. Um, or would you rather just be able to do the things you love with ease and not be able to feel like yourself and I think it's a hard decision for a lot of people to make and that's why a lot of people avoid medication when they're not feeling well um, and I completely respect that decision but for me I think I'd rather feel better and have difficulty with some things and learn to adapt than be unable to do the things I love because I feel so awful and maybe some days I'm able to do it, some I'm not, but uh, it's not worth it for me. Um, it's not worth feeling so awful. And I do struggle with a few things on top of the OCD. Um, I'm pretty open about my struggles, so I don't really mind talking about it, but I do get self-conscious when I start talking about it on the internet. Um, I have a blog, actually, on Tumblr um, that I can show a link for you guys in the description, but it's basically a blog about OCD and how it shouldn't be used as an adjective, and like when people say I'm so OCD about that, that really is obnoxious, but they don't mean for it to be obnoxious, they're just saying it because they think it's funny or they think it really is an adjective, but I have the blog to educate and so I'm not sure if any of you are familiar with that, but that's one thing that I have um, that I deal with and something that I also try and advocate for. And another thing that I deal with is um, I've dealt with depression I'm a lot better and I don't really consider myself as depressed anymore but it's some days are tough but I think that's because we all have our ups and downs and it's not always caused by depression just because you're having a rough day doesn't mean you're depressed but at the same time sometimes my rough days look different from someone who's not depressed or not anxious that their rough days might look different than mine and that's okay mine might be worse in some ways but better in others I think everybody has their own struggles and it's only when we start to appreciate that is when we kind of learn to coexist and I I think a lot of A lot of people don't really understand what it's like to deal with a lot of things I deal with and I don't I don't want to say that they're not trying to understand but I think that it's hard for people to understand um, and I think a lot of times they can't understand what it's like like I don't want to pretend that I can understand what it's like to have bipolar disorder schizophrenia, have um, some sort of other disorder, or even something physical, something on the outside. I don't know what it's like to be in a wheelchair, you know, and I don't want to pretend that I do. But I think it's really frustrating at the same time that people can't understand because you want so badly for people to understand. And it's really hard to find people in your own community who do understand. And that's why I always feel so good when I find out that someone else that I know struggles with something that I struggle with. Not because I want them to be struggling with it, but because I love that I am not alone. It's like two heads are better than one. And if we're both struggling, at least we're struggling together. And I... Honestly, just, it's just hard, many days. That's what I was mostly dealing with over the summer was 
my anxiety problems, but um, the biggest one for me right now is actually um, panic disorder, and you guys are going to hear some music playing in the background right now, by the way. Um, my school plays this uh, anthem for our school every day um, at 6 p.m., and it's great, and by great I mean it's pretty annoying, but um, I do love my school, so don't mind, it's small price to pay. But yeah, you guys can probably hear the bells in the background, and I apologize if that's bothering you. I'll try and take it out if I can, but I'm not sure I can. I think it's actually kind of relaxing now that I think about it. Like when you can't hear it too loudly, it is pretty relaxing. But if you hear it kind of loudly, then it's not so relaxing. And I think that's just a general rule for a lot of musical things. When you're trying to relax, that is. I think everything in moderation. And um, something... What was I talking about? Oh yeah, <laughs> I was talking about um, some other stuff that I was facing, which is panic disorder. Um, it's probably my most recent diagnosis. Um, struggled with OCD since third grade, and I had a diagnosis of it since sixth grade. Um, so since I was 11 years old. And then I... I think I had a di diagnosis of depression, or at least I had the symptoms 7th or 8th grade. Definitely a diagnosis in that point, I think. But uh, I got really bad in 9th and 10th grade. So that was mostly a high school thing. Um, and then um, freshman year of college, I started having panic attacks, and that it developed into panic disorder. So. That's that. And I think it's my most debilitating right now in terms of what I deal with. Because it's just. You don't see them coming. I think that's the worst part, is often I don't see them coming. It's not even that much better when you do see them coming, but just the fact that you're. The anticipation is just, it's awful and I hate panic attacks because I can't always tell if they're a panic attack or if I'm actually sick. Um, I get a lot of physical sensations and symptoms that are similar to when you're actually sick, um, with like some sort of fever when I have a panic attack, so that's really frustrating because I'll be in the middle of class and all of a sudden I'll be like, wow, do I have a fever? And I can't leave class. Um, to go take my temperature, but there's that urge to say, am I sick, am I sick, or is this real, or is this just anxiety tricking me? And I used to think that it was just me pretending, like my, my body pretending to have a fever and tricking me, but I've actually taken my temperature before while I've been panic mode, and I do actually like have a rise in temperature, so what you experience in these panic attacks, you meaning like a general you, it's um, it's pretty, pretty real. I think a lot of people don't get that. I know it's a bit hard for me to explain to my family, and I don't think they ever really will understand coming back to that whole thing, because they just can't, and it's it's frustrating sometimes when you know you see how people act when somebody has a cold or or the flu, and they're very caring, and then you say that you're feeling sick, and it's because of a panic attack, and suddenly that makes it different because it's in your mind, or so they think. So that means you should be able to control it, and that's kind of the view that a lot of people have. Um, I dealt with some discrimination uh, in the past and present because of this. People will think that I'm 
not capable of certain things or certain jobs or anything sort of related to competence um, just because I am unable to be not anxious 100% of the time because like when I get a panic attack it, it can look scary I think um, I don't think that people can always tell when I'm anxious I think it's hard because I try and keep it inside so a lot of people are like oh you were anxious I had no idea but it's sort of torture and I'm sorry I'm rambling about this so much but that that's the main reason why I've been absent so I thought you guys deserve to know and yeah and right now I'm entering or I'm in I'm in my junior year of college and it's going okay I think the anxiety is better to an extent um still not great but it's getting better and I think that's what really matters right now I don't want to say that I don't want to be 100% better but I think it's not always realistic for me right now it's not realistic to say I want to be 100% better but it is realistic to say I want to be better than I was and progress is always relative and you can probably hear the plane going by and I'm sorry for that too and also if you guys like watching me draw if you don't like watching me draw let me know I'm mostly uploading these videos because I'm gonna be drawing anyway and I I think it's kind of I, I mean I really like watching people like like uh, Jen from visual sounds I love watching her drawing videos so I I thought it might be nice to make my own but if it's not your style let me know if you want to see more let me know I just want you guys to let me know basically And, um, I've been in the Teen Titans fandom speaking slash drawing Teen Titans. Um, I, uh, I've been in the fandom, I think, since, like, second grade. So that's, that's quite a few years now, and it's very important to me. I think it's my most, um, uh, consistent fandom, besides Glee. Yeah, I can already see people like booing in the background, but I am very much obsessed with Glee as well. Um, and it's awkward because a lot of people hate it, <laughs> hate Glee, but um, most people just, if they know Teen Titans, they're not like super into it. Uh, it's probably because it's from 2003. And I don't blame them for not being super into it because it is something that has a bit on air since like 2007 or 8. But um, something interesting is they actually rebooted the series um, a little while ago, I think in 2014. It's still going, it's called Teen Titans Go. I'd highly recommend never watching it because even though they do have my ship my lovely baby Ray, um, even though they have them featured on the show and it's all the same voice actors, it's almost like worse that it's all the same voice actors because they're completely destroying everything uh, that I thought Teen Titans meant to me. In other words, they, they take the characters and kind of satire them, but not in a clever way and it's very upsetting for me as a fan because I just want my favorite characters on screen back 
If I can't have them, I'd rather not see them. I'd rather not have them than see them destroyed like this. That sounds kind of harsh, but it's true. And I'm sure similar people in my fandom feel similarly, but um, I know some people do like this show. I don't know many though. I know I originally was like, oh, it's, it's a good idea, but it kind of wore off like the, the effect of hearing all my favorite actors. That, that effect wore off pretty quickly. And I think the final straw for me was um, the part, uh, I think in their second season when they had they had um, a, a talking bathroom, and I'm not exaggerating. There was a talking bathroom in my show, my, my once favorite show. And that was very upsetting. Very much upsetting. Um, yeah, I think that was probably like the last straw for me. Actually, I, I had been watching the show, like trying to get into it because I just love those characters so much and I could not get into it and I was like, why can't I? And that was like, oh, that's why. That was the moment for me. So, in case you were wondering, I did give it a shot. I know some people like were against it from the beginning and I wasn't one of those people. Uh, but yeah. I think I messed up her hand, but I don't think I have the patience to go back. She says a lot about me, but also about the fact that I do have homework I have to get done. I just really want to take some time out of the day and draw because I feel like I hadn't in a while and I love it. I do love it. It's something that I've done consistently since I was like three years old. I remember having my parents tell me many times like they, they told me that I used to uh, draw pictures in preschool and the teachers would write down what I said the picture was a picture of. So there's one picture hanging up in my house that says underneath it, this is a picture of me before I was born, which is very interesting, but it's also kind of creepy. Like where could a four year old get that idea from? Because apparently I said that and couldn't tell you. Could not tell you. Ooh, I think I messed up. That's okay. I try not to be too hard on myself. I mean, I am often with this, but trying to get better about it, especially because it's harder for me now. Much harder than it used to be, and again, that's really frustrating, but I'd rather feel better than draw better. So, there's the truth. Oops. Yeah, like, I'm looking at it now, and I'm kind of like, oh, wow, that doesn't look very is what it is. I don't know if I'm going to have time to finish this drawing or even the line art today. So we'll see. We shall see.
Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to call it quits soon because I do have homework. The sad, sad truth has been revealed once again, and yeah. Not the end of the world, but I just wanted to get some fun in before I hunker down. Ooh, that was a close one. <laughs> I don't know if anyone saw that, but I just deleted the entire drawing. Like for a second, and that was a little scary. Until I remember this is a digital drawing, so I can just press undo. Yeah. Yeah. probably hear someone um, who's outside my door just kind of stomping around. So, once again, I do live in a dorm, and it's hard to control a lot of the noise that goes in and out here. So, my apologies once again. And, um, I think this is gonna be it for today. So, this is what I've done so far. Let me put a background on here so you can see it better. Let's see here. Um, yeah. I have trouble finding the tools sometimes, like the paintbrush. I don't know why. The paint bucket. I just, like, forget where they are. I guess I don't draw that much, so I'm not used to it. But, um, Here's what I have so far, and the underneath is kind of what it's going to look like. I'm just cleaning up the lines because I don't know if you can see it, but they're not super clean because I did them um, and by hand, like with a black pen. So hopefully I'll be able to finish this soon, and maybe what I'll do next time is I'll show coloring it or something. I could also go in like speedy motion. Uh, it's really up to you guys if you'd rather see a uh, speed paint type thing or if you'd rather watch me do it step by step, let me know. Just put it in the comment section. I always read my comments even if I don't always reply because sometimes I just have no idea what to say and I don't want to say something wrong. Um, yeah, I think that's it for today. This is Adorkable ASMR, Zoe signing off, and I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful evening. I really hope I get to see you guys soon. Good night. <laughs>